And we have the 17 year old driver who lost control and hit two Good Samaritans on Sunday says he was not drinking. And this afternoon, students at University of Detroit Jesuit High School prayed for him as well as their classmate and the doctor that he hit. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from U of D Jesuit on the city's west side. And Kim, first of all, we know all three are still in the hospital. That's correct, and 17-year-old Sean English is listed in serious condition right now, but I'm told he is alert and talking. Unfortunately, Dr. Cynthia Ray and the 17-year-old driver who hit them both are both still in critical condition. And here at the chapel at U of D Jesuit, there were prayers for them all. At the University of Detroit Jesuit High School, students gathered in the chapel this afternoon to pray. Prayers for 17-year-old Sean English and Dr. Cynthia Ray, the Good Samaritans who were left critical after Sunday's crash on I-96. Dr. Ray was on her way to work Sunday morning, Sean with his parents on their way to a church in Detroit when they all stopped on the side of the freeway to help others who had just been involved in another crash when they were also hit. We especially pray for the healing of his parents, Peggy and Sean English, who were also physically harmed during the accident. We pray for Dr. Cynthia Ray, the doctor who was injured while helping others at the accident. She is now on life support, that she may be healed and rewarded for her Christ-like actions. And the young man who lost control and crashed into Dr. Ray and Sean is also 17. Keith Martin's family says he was on his way to work. Earlier this week, Michigan State Police said they were looking into the possibility that alcohol was a factor. But Martin's family is adamant that he was not drinking. In a Facebook post, Keith's sister Kayla writes, quote, We just don't want anyone to believe that Keith was intoxicated or purposely meant to injure anyone. He just lost control. And today at U of D Jesuit, they prayed for him too. We pray for Keith Martin, the young man who was driving the car which caused the accident. He is now in the hospital on life support. Let us pray that God may be near him and that he may recover safely. We pray to the Lord. At U of D, Sean is a star athlete and sings in the choir. And after Sunday's crash, Sean's right foot had to be amputated. Today, his sister Megan posting this picture of him on Twitter, showing Sean awake in his hospital bed and pointed to the camera. And then a post showing the men's lacrosse team from Lawrence Tech University in prayer for Sean, a young man known for his compassion and wit. In fact, he even said yesterday, um, I'm missing a foot, but it's just one less thing I have to wash in the shower. So. And one of Sean's friends and classmates here says he is sure that Sean will run again one day. Reporting live, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you. And we certainly hope, uh, hope so. Kim, what's the latest on the investigation into what actually happened out there? All Michigan State Police are saying right now is that their investigation continues and it will not end until they have gathered all of their evidence. Back to you. Kimberly Craig, reporting live tonight. Thank you for the update.